UFC Heavyweight Showdown. All right, so here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming, at least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Sambo, he does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if you can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fight. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the field. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponents. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of five wins, three losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Regina, Saskatchewan, Canada, Ladies and gentlemen, he is the former UFC heavyweight champion, Brock Lesnar! And now, introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, the king! All right, go into the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, and a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out fighting. This has really become the UFC's home base here in Vegas since 2016, and you competed on that inaugural night. UFC 200 was a big one. I got to stand across the octagon from one of the greatest fighters of all time, Anderson Silva, but the roof was blown off at UFC 200. So many stars and legends competed on that night. I'm glad I was able to stand amongst them tonight. You get to make your mark on this greater reach. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Well, there's a takedown attempt. No surprise that he would go for it there, but unable to get the fight to the ground. Whenever your opponent knows that you're going to try to take him down, you have to disguise it. He did not disguise it. He tried to just shoot a blind shot. He got defended as you would expect it to. Oh, big one. 
really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. And just misses with that big right hand. Left with a left hand counter. Watch knees to the body. Big right hand there. Oh, straight right. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Straight punch land. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Oh, man, this is one thing you, you do not want to get kicked in the head at MMA. You cannot take too many of those head kicks, but this guy gets his leg up there so fast, sometimes you don't see it coming. And they separate. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. All right, so he lands another jab now, just snapping that thing off, DC. I believe that the jab was... One at all. Oh! He's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. Oh, big left. Look at the red right action right. that right. comes right. from right. that right. kick. All right, so there's the end of the round. Few things in MMA more devastating than a head kick and nearly produced a knockout for him there. We talked to him earlier in the week, and he talked about chances to take the kicks high. He got a chance, he took it, he landed that kick and almost got the fight finished. Let's see if he can go and do that again. Okay, round two, you ready? You ready? So, all right, round two. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. Oh, well done moving the head there to slip that left hand. Nice defense there. Huge block. How about that shin? Oh, combination lands, and it seemed like almost it. Oh, nice job to prevent the takedown and scramble to his feet. Oh, big head kick there! Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Watch the strike. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting the... This fight's gonna be over. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with the front low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Back to the stand-up now. Both fighters upright. Big body kick. Nice strike. There he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You gotta slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. And a nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost part in mixed martial arts. The guys have found it, and they're fighting behind it real well. He's gotta be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. And they separate. Big punch land to the Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very
very soon. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Ten seconds remain in round two. Straight right is there. Is true now the right hand. Round three next. Good job, man. All right, that's the end of the round. And our cameraman all over that cut on the cheek. That thing is getting wider by the minute and only getting worse. Cut man gonna earn his money tonight. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and then survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. Sound defense there as he blocks the shot. Just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Oh, beautiful lead in the body by him there. Again, we talked off the top about his size advantage, and he put it to good use there. Oh, and there's that double leg takedown. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Close guard. Nice hammer fist. Trying to recover full guard there. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Back to his feet. Less than two minutes to go in round three. Nice punch, man. And both guys really throwing with authority. Well, I'm an identical twin. Two is better than one. You might as well double up on the jab. He did so effectively there. Doubling up on the jab, and you see his opponent's head popping back every time it lands. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Still finish his fight. Well, just exhausting block. has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. 
All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Oh, nice right hand. Great punch. So he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Under two minutes to go. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. Fighters back to their feet here. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. He's done, he's done. <laughs> yeah, there's another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighters saw it coming, so a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. And there he is, all smiles. What a huge knockout he turned in here tonight. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliana has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 34 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, the king! Oh, and there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You go going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? Because it's going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight. 